Hello guys, welcome to our channel. For those who are subscribers here, thank you for coming back. And for all the new subscribers, welcome. Um, we just like to give you a recipe here today. We're gonna make some homemade biscuits and gravy. Hope you enjoy. Let us know if you try it. Thank you. I think I just said ground beef, sorry, I just pork. I meant to say ground pork. The sausage. It's kind of dark in my kitchen today, it's really cloudy out. I have this on high heat because we just want to run it up real quick. And then I'll show you the next step once we get this. I had the, I had just taken this out of the freezer, so I put it in the microwave for a couple minutes just to defrost it. And now we're gonna cook it up. We're gonna warm it and like to get it really brown, and then cut it up into chunks, like really small pieces. All these big chunks, you're gonna want to break them down. And the biscuits, we just put them in the oven, how it says on the package. This will take a little bit of time to cook this one. This is homemade biscuits and gravy. You can use, cook up the um, ground pork, the sausage, however you like. And then, like, sometimes there's people that get, like, stuff from pantries and stuff, and they have, like, ground pork patties and stuff. You can ground the, chop those up and cook them in, into this the same if you don't have this, this roll of uh, sausage like I did. You can use just whatever you have to make it work. We went to this, um the other night. It's over here. It's a public warehouse. Public wholesale. It's called public wholesale something, I think. And they did this special where you could get $50, spend $50 and get like two to $300 worth of food. We mostly got produce, but I didn't do a haul on that stuff. They had some stuff that was looking kind of funny, but... Since the lettuce was included in the deal, I got it and we gave it to the chickens and the rabbits. I mean, it's not like, it's not bad, it just, it wasn't the freshest. So we got it and we like to give them like bags of lettuce and stuff like that too. We prefer to give them the fresh fruits than all the fresh fruits and veggies and all the other Precious foods from the package. We also get them like corn, breads, leftovers. I mean, we give them a lot of different stuff, so they get a good meal. In our hens, they gave us the the big brown eggs. See, this is getting browned up. Kind of a shadow. There's still a little bit of pieces of red red meat in there, but we're gonna keep thin it till it's ready. Oven's it's still heating up, so I'm not ready yet. See, so once it starts cooking up, it'll break into smaller pieces. This is how you want it, like ground up like that. Sometimes my gravy comes out too thin. So then we just add a little bit more flour into the mixture to make it thicker. But this is how my mommy always make her gravy, so I'd just like to show you. 
I'm always cooking Mexican food, but this is one of the ones that I do know how to cook this American food. Pick up. What takes the longest is the, the biscuits. This gravy is really quick just to brown up the meat, add the flour, let it cook up a little bit, add the milk. And then let it thicken up and then you can put your your pepper on the top if you want. It's kind of a like a peppered peppered sausage gravy. Okay, our oven's ready, so I'm gonna go ahead and put the biscuits on the cookie sheet and stick them in there. And we'll let this cook up and let them let them be like the middle. So like a medium. We'll be back. I'm gonna go ahead and pour in our flour. This is like a Raisin Cane's little cup. It's like maybe about a, a cup of flour. Go ahead and mix it in. You want to brown the flour. Uh, um, we like to use evaporated milk, but today I don't have any. So we're just going to use um, regular gallon milk. Uh, I want it to look like this. With the flour. I'm going to go ahead and add our milk. about that much of the gallon left. We'll see if we have to add more. Yeah, I think it's going to be good. We'll see. If not, we'll add more. I'll come back and show you. I have to get a clean spoon. I forgot to mention, you're going to also want to st stand there and stir it. Especially if you're going to walk away. You don't want to at this point because once you add the milk because it could burn. But you see how this is thickened up? I went ahead and turned mine off. It's only been a few minutes and maybe like two minutes. And I went ahead and turned mine off because my stove is electric and it, the burner still stays on. So I'm going to go ahead and take this off the burner. And we're waiting for the biscuits to get done. There's about six minutes left. And this is what you're gonna want your gravy to look like. You could taste it for salt. I think I might add just a tad. Maybe a little bit more pepper too. Like I said, this is all to your liking. You see how it's like bubbling up? Okay, to come out. Anyway, this is ready. I add in some, like a salt to taste, and this will be ready. Once the biscuits come out, we'll be ready to eat. I forgot to mention, you're going to also want to stand there and stir it, especially if you're going to walk away. You don't want to at this point because once you add the milk, because it could burn. But you see how this is thickened up? I went ahead and turned mine off. It's only been a few minutes and maybe like two minutes. 
and I went ahead and turned mine off because my stove is electric and it, the burner still stays on. So I'm going to go ahead and take this off the burner. And we're waiting for the biscuits to get done. There are about six minutes left. And this is what you're going to want your gravy to look like. You could taste it for salt. I think I might add just a tad. Maybe a little bit more pepper too. Like I said, this is all to your liking. You see how it's like bubbling up. Anyway, this is ready. I add in some like a salt to taste and this will be ready. Once the biscuits come out, we'll be ready to eat. My spoon fell on the floor, so I should, I've got a clean one. And you're just going to want to take your spoon and stir it. Make sure you get all the... You're going to want to let this come to a rolling boil. And then it will start to thicken up, and then you can turn it down. And just keep letting it simmer until you get the flour cooked. And at this point, you could add your your pepper. And once this is thick, starts getting thick, you could turn it off, and it will thicken up just a little bit more once it gets cold, starts cooling down. I'm gonna go ahead and add some pepper. Let me get it real quick. I just this the peppers to your taste. You could also add salt if you think. It needs it, but I normally don't. Let's add some, like five or six shakes of black pepper. If you're one of those type of people that like a certain type of, you don't like the generic stuff, go ahead and use whatever one you like. It'll give it a little bit different flavor, but like I said today, I used the Jimmy Dean sausage. Normally we use just a great value, whatever's on sale. And I use gallon milk, 1%, with all-purpose flour, and this Aldi's black pepper. And you can use whatever flour from Aldi's, you can use whatever type of stuff you like. It's To me it's the same, but I know there's people out there that like certain brands. Really, you're just paying for the brand. Sometimes the taste is a little bit different. Um, if you use evaporated milk, I would use like, I'd say two to three cans. But then it would be like up to here. And you might need a little bit more flour. And it will have a different color. It will be more yellowish color. Like a creamy color. This is white. You can't really tell because of the shadow. So I don't have a... One of those fans above my stove that has the light, so that's why it's so dark. I had the light on, but it's cloudy here in Oklahoma. But I'll come back once this starts getting um, thickened up, and I'll show you.